hold on, everybody. Hold on. We 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 got some we we got some busters coming at me, man. Let's get into it. What's good, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show, where the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Let's start. Let's get into it. Yo, brother man, brother man, brother man. You know what I'm saying? Brother man. Look, I, I don't know if you 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 one of his supporters or one of his lackeys or anything like that, bro. But don't bring your butt over here to the Lockout Men Podcast Show trying to start something that's that that isn't all right all right i just want to say that don't come over here to the lockout me and podcast shows trying to start something coming over here in my comment session over here talking about leave leave bobby alone and and if you don't leave bobby alone this that and the other what you gonna do bruh this is a grown-ass man i'm sure he don't need you to come over here to tell me to leave him alone. Bobby got my information, bro. If Bobby feels some kind of way, he know how to get in contact with me. So don't come over here. What, you his mother? You you his mother? You trying to fight his battles or something? Bro, don't come over here trying to make it a, a lockout man versus Bobby because it's not. It's not that. It's not that, bro. It's not that type of party over here. We don't, we don't party like that, bro. As I said before, ain't no disrespect to this man. As a matter of fact, I'm a subscriber and I'm a supporter of this man. That's the problem with you bougie brothers that's trying to come over here and start something. I before you even before you even known anything, I already reached out to this young man way before, boy, before he started popping on YouTube, bro. All right? I'm just saying. So don't don't come over here to the Lockout Man podcast show talking talking yin yang about something that you don't even know nothing about, my G. So go ahead, sit down wherever you at and stay in your lane, all right? I'm sure Bobby is a grown ass man to fight his own battles. And I'm sure that he can get in contact with me if he feels some kind of way, bruh. All right, my dude? So just, just sit down, <laughs> sit down. That's all you need to do, bro. Sit down. Don't stand up. Sit down. All right. And take them Twitter fingers somewhere else. All right. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. You know, my man Bobby and my man Tiki, they're back in the building. You guys seen my, <laughs> you guys seen my video. I had to re up the v I had to re up the video to show you to show you guys. What happened to him, what happened to them basically happened to me. You know, everything that, you know, what happened to Tiki pretty much mirrored everything that happened to me, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So I went on here and re-upped the video so that the people could catch up. And that was, that was five years ago. That was five years ago. Man, five years. And I've been in this game for seven Five years ago, man. And that's crazy. So, so yeah, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy, see where I came from. You know, US Express was my first rodeo. And I appreciated at that time, at that time, I appreciated US Express for giving me the opportunity to get my experience, my two years of experience that I was with them before I got ambushed and got pushed out the back door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like my man, it's like my man Mackie said, you know, I'm going to walk out the front door before somebody puts me out the back. I'll walk out the front door on my own before I let someone push me out the back. But I never got a chance to walk out the front door because I was definitely pushed out the back. But listen, though, listen, though, um, I see you guys back on the scene. I see you guys back doing your thing. So congratulations to both of y'all for getting back in the truck. Uh, make sure you guys, you know, do the, you know, do the right thing this time and learn from, you know, your experiences from last time. But let me just throw some tips out there. You know, I found this, I found some tips that, that some people posted in your comment session. And I just want to, I just want to touch base on that. And, 
for other people too that's thinking about coming out here you know that want to record their journeys you know same same thing goes to my girl you know reach uh not reach i'm sorry rare t rare tv i'm still trying to i'm still in the midst of trying to get a hold of her and her experience because like i said for her i i just felt that she was bamboozled i i don't think I don't think Prime got rid of her per se because of her uh, recording. I think she just got bamboozled by the trainer that she has. For the people that want to get out here and they really want to record their journeys and all like that, here's some tips on how to do it, man. Now, some companies, you, you might want to start off asking the company first if they have any issues or any policies in place for social media content because a lot of companies a lot of companies don't like their equipment in the video they don't they don't like you to you know record any of their insignia their logos their trailers their trucks or anything like that in the video. Some companies is kind of funny about you actually mentioning the company's name in the video. Not not all of them, not all of them. I, I just say maybe a small, small few have that issue. As far as their logos and their their trucks, trailers and stuff like that, yeah, they, they, they usually feel some kind of way about their equipment or their company insignias in your videos so make sure that when you're at orientation because sometimes the recruiters don't know so you can't just up and ask the recruiters because the recruiters could tell you one thing and then turn around and find out in orientation that it's another so wait till you go to orientation and then ask in orientation hey you know I have a YouTube page, Facebook page, TikTok page, and I want to know, is it okay that I, you know, that I record my journey while I'm with the company? And then you can find out an orientation from the safety department because I'm sure you're going to meet them. They can either tell you yes and or no. All right. Another thing, if if they do give you the okay to do it, all right? If if they do give you the okay to do it, but learn from Tiki and Bobby, do an overlay, all right? Do do a do a, a voiceover, you know? I mean, you can still talk and everything. Um, some people is not that keen on editing and all like that. Like me, I could take my voice out of the video and then show the video and then just put a whole different voiceover track. You know, just, you know, just do that if you're going to do POV shots and all like that. And for those of you that don't know what POV means, point of view, meaning that you see what the, what the creator sees. Another thing, if you want to use, if you want to, you know, do video like cinematic videos and all like that, use multiple cameras. All right. You know, you can use your phone as the main camera and then you could probably get yourself a GoPro. And if you have one of them Sony, you know, Sony point and shoots, you know what I'm saying? Use multiple cameras, get different camera angles. I could say a perfect example of who to get inspiration from is that boy JBL from JBL Travels, because he has like <laughs> a gazillion of gazillion cameras in there. He got he got cameras mounted in his dashboard. He has a main camera that that's mounted in his cab that's pointed down at him. He got, you know, like a camera on the back of his trailer. And of course, he got the POV camera and he has a camera that's on the floor because he drives a manual. JBL Travels is a good is a good channel to go over there to get inspiration from as far as getting camera ideas, especially for you guys that want to, you know, to record your journeys and everything, all right? And the main, main, main reason why I'm saying all of this and, you know, the main reason why uh, the video, uh, the, um, the guys made this comment in y'all videos is because 
in the event of an accident, right? In the event of an accident, and you know, they they prove that you was interacting with the camera and everything like that. A good plaintiff attorney can use that against you and say that you was distracted at the time of the accident. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, well, no, this, that, and the third. It's good that he had a camera running because if this it showed him that he didn't do the accident or whatever, whatever. But what what if he was, you know, like kind of talking or whatever, whatever, and that car just smooth cut him off and he didn't see it. Right? He didn't see it. Why? Because he was interacting with the camera. So, yeah, just, I mean, you know, if you want to do that, if you want to get your POV shots and all like that, just make it like you're not interacting with the camera at all. And I think you will be good. You will be good. All right. All right. Good. <laughs> so, definitely, you know, de definitely. Again, if you guys want to, you know, do your journey, y'all want to record your journey, you know, just see if it's all right with the company that you get with to see if they okay with you, you know, recording or anything like that. As always, don't keep nothing in your hand or anything like that, because, you know, if you get pulled over by DOT or state, uh, state trooper and you got your phone or tablet or any type of electronic device in your hand, you can get a ticket and that will be considered a cell phone ticket. And that ticket and to fight that ticket is not cheap. Okay. Okay. To get a law to at least get a lawyer to fight the ticket about two, about $2,000. And that's the try to fight the ticket because some some places you you won't even get it knocked down or nothing and you'll have to end up taking that L. All right. So that's what's up. Those are the tips I got for you and everything, man. Uh that's the tips that I got for everybody that's interested in, you know, coming in trying to do YouTube videos and all like that. But still, the number one instance is to protect your CDLs. You know what I'm saying? Those CDLs come first. So if anything, you know, those that's the tips and the advice that I got for you. And bruh, whoever you are, that's you know, that's coming over here trying to try to play mommy dearest, bruh, stay your ass in your lane, my G. All right? Stay your ass in your lane. Because again, like I said, that's a grown ass man over there. And if he feels that I'm disrespecting him or 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 feel some kind of way, he knows how to get in contact with me, my bro. All right. So you just go ahead and sit down and mind, mind, you know, mind your P's and Q's, young man. All right. Lockout man, y'all. Like what I do over here? Y'all wanna get at me? Yo, get at me. 216 don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell on the way out the door, man. I appreciate everything. You guys take care and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.